Hi there. In this video, we're going to walk through how to set up a scheduled push notification for your Adalo app. Now, of course, Adalo has an action that can trigger a push notification immediately. For example, on this button, I can add an action here uh, to trigger a notification, and I can pick who the notification should go to and what the message should be. And that notification will be triggered anytime the user hits this button that I've added the action to. But uh, sometimes you want to have a push notification that is scheduled. So that's exactly what we're going to walk through today. In this example app, uh, it's just a very simple to do app. I've got a list of tasks on my home screen. And then I've got a uh, plus button here that takes me to a form where I can add a new task. And we take a look at how database is set up so far. I have a collection of users and then a collection uh, for tasks. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another collection here and we'll call this scheduled notifications. Okay, and uh, we're going to rename the name property to be the uh, title and then we'll add another text property that will be the, uh, the notification body text. And then we'll add another property that will be a date. So we'll call this scheduled date. And then finally, we'll add a property that is a relationship uh, to the user. And we can call this recipient. OK, great. So now our database is in good shape. And what we're going to want to do is uh, edit how this form is working so that when this form creates a new task, we're going to add another action to the submit button so that it also creates a record in our scheduled notifications collection. So let's add another action to create a scheduled notification. And then uh, we can have the title be um, task to soon. And then the body can be the name of the new task. And then for the uh, scheduled date, um, we can have this be the uh, due date for the new task. And if we want the reminder to go out a day earlier, we can just subtract one from that. And then for the recipient, that will be the logged in user. OK, great. So let's go ahead and run the preview so we can put some example data in our database. Uh, so you can see I've already got one task. I'm going to add another one here um, for um, mow the lawn. And for the due date, uh, we'll say that's going to be due in a few days here. OK, so now we will create this task. And we can close our preview. We can double check the database. We can see there's a record in here now. And it's got all of that information. So that's all good to go. Now um, we're going to jump over to Zapier, which is going to uh, power this. So we go to Zapier. We're going to set up a Zap. Um, for the uh, trigger, uh, we're going to have that, of course, be a dollar and based on a new record. And so we'll click Continue and make sure you've got uh, your correct Adalo credentials there. That will ask you to pick your app. Um, so I'm going to go with this uh, push notifications app that we were just working in. OK, so we'll select push notifications, which was the name of my app. And then we'll pick our scheduled notifications collection and click Continue. Uh, now it's going to get some sample data. So it'll have that uh, one. There it is, task too soon, mow the lawn. And so now we can click uh, continue. And now for the next part of our zap, uh, we're going to add a delay. Because of course we don't want uh, it to run the trigger as soon as the task is created, but instead we want it to be based off of the due date. So we'll say um, delay until and click continue. And then for the time, we will have that uh, come from the scheduled notification record. And you can see right here we've got the scheduled date. So we can select that and then click Continue. 
and do test and continue. Okay, so now we've got the new record coming in. We're telling Zapier to wait until its scheduled date. And so now we need to set up the action in Zapier that's actually going to trigger the push notification. So to do this, uh, we're going to use uh, Zapier's webhooks. We're going to use this to create an API call to the Adala push notification API. And for this, we're going to choose custom request. All right, now we can click continue. Our method is going to be post. And then for the base URL, uh, it's going to be api.adala.com slash notifications. Uh, for data pass through, we can leave this to be false. And then for data here, I'm going to copy the example JSON from our uh, help documentation on using the Adalo notification API. Um, so here you can see you need to include your ID of your app, uh, which you can find by, um, it's right there in the URL of your app in Adalo. This is the app ID that's needed. Uh, so you've got to put that there. Uh, then in this audience parameter, you need to put the URL, or sorry, the email address of the user that you're sending to. So we're going to remove that example text. And then we're going to um, go into our new record. And under recipient, uh, we can grab their email address and put that in there. And then uh, we're similarly going to grab the uh, uh, title text and body text of the notification as well. So let's go ahead and find the title and, and the body here. Great, so now we've got uh, the main part of our API request set up. Uh, then we need to add a couple of headers. Uh, so first we need to add an authorization header. And so the name of that will be authorization and then the value will be bearer and then the API key for your app. Uh, that'll be available soon in the uh, settings tab of your app uh, if you're on a paid plan um, in here. Uh, but until then, you can reach out to, uh, to us directly and we will give you your API key. So that's our first header. Then we need to add one more header, uh, which is our content type header. So let me add this in here as well. Okay, so now I've got everything set up. We've got a method as post, we've got our base URL, we've got our data set up with our app ID and with our tokens from our scheduled notification collection, and we've got our two headers in here. Now, one more caveat before I run the test is that in order for this uh, API call to succeed, you need to make sure that you've already done a mobile build of your app. So that can be either Android or iOS, or both is fine. Um, but you need to make sure that you've created a build uh, before this can continue. So now let's go ahead and press continue here. And it shows you uh, what it's going to send through. And now let's do a test and review. Okay, and so now we can see the request was successful. Uh, in the response, you'll see uh, successful zero, uh, failed zero. What this just means is that the user that we sent that to, in this case, benedexample.com, um, they didn't have the app installed in their device, so there wasn't actually a push notification that was sent to someone's phone. Um, but if the user did have that installed, you would see that as successful. And so that's it. You can turn on your Zap and you'll be all set. Uh, or you can get creative with it. You can even add another step to the Zap to create another record in Adal for another scheduled notification record. Um, for example, if this was a recurring event and you wanted to have a notification every seven days, you could do that uh, by having this app follow up with a step that would create a new record for the next time that uh, this is supposed to be rerun. 
So there you go. That's how you can use the Adalo push notification API to set up scheduled uh, push notifications in your Adalo app using a service like Zapier.